You've seen him on the court, and you've heard everything he's had to say. I'm an angel off the court, and I'm gonna continue to keep it that way, so why not? You know? But you've never seen Steven Jackson like this. I'm Keisha from Video Now, and get ready as we follow Jack for an entire day. From waking him up in the morning to a dinner at one of Indy's finest, you'll find out what it's like to be Jack. We're following the Indiana Pacers' own Steven Jackson. It's 11 o'clock, and it's time to wake up Jack. Let's go. I'm just like real picky guy when it comes to clothes, you know. I wear a lot of red. I really don't like blue too much. It's not my color. But I like it when I'm with my uniform. That's all that matters. Okay. Nice to do your shirt. Do you always have Cindy iron or do you iron sometimes? Uh, I never iron. I really probably shouldn't because I end up probably wasting some clothes. It's my little brother. He finally woke up. My little brother Donnie, he got the morning face too. He's a he's a future NBA star. He's uh bounced around going through the ups and downs I went through to get here now, so he gotta pay his dues. You've been a little bit of everywhere. Did you learn Spanish when you were in Venezuela? Yeah. Uh Venezuela and Dominican Republic, actually. It was uh it was it was it was different there, but I was there at uh 18. So I had to either pick it up. I just be left behind and not know how to speak and just point to order food and stuff. See, let me show you something. I'm a t-shirt kind of guy until David Stern kind of changed the dress code. So you see, I got white t-shirts. I got the rainbow drawer. And you know, I told you again, I love red, so I keep red t-shirts. And the dungeon color, the black color. You gotta keep black t-shirts on purpose. I never wear the same t-shirt twice, let me say that. I wear a t-shirt after I wash it, either I donate them to the homeless, or I wear them as undershirts, or I give them away. Oh. You want privacy now? I guess we can't stay for that, huh? Right. Take a shower. <laughs> While Jack's in the shower, let's take a look at how this NBA player really lives. and Jack's at the wheel, so buckle up and let's go. I'm always late. Oh, you're always late? Always. One thing to understand about me, I'm never on time, but as long as I'm there, that's all that matters. I eat everything. I mean, I'm not one of those guys who's picky, who pick about what they eat. I eat everything. From soul food, to seafood, to Italian food, to Chinese food, Mexican food, I eat it all. I'm not picky. The only thing I don't eat is pig feet. I don't eat that. Yeah, you got a lot of changes going on right now. Al coming back. Yeah, that's, I think that's the biggest. Him and Marquis Vance are the biggest pieces. Uh, definitely because losing Fred Jones and losing Ron, that's, that was two pieces of the team that we needed that made us a deep team. And to have Al back, Without the attitude and without all the up and downs, not knowing if he's gonna be there or not, that we did with Ron, you know, 
it's, it's good to have somebody that we can count on. I, I love Ron to death, as you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I almost lost my job for him, and I still love him today, and I wish him the best him and his family. But at this point, the last couple of years have been definitely disappointing us because we feel like we were one of the best teams in the league, and we still are. We just didn't put all the pieces of the puzzle together. And now that we have Al and Marquise Daniels, to have those pieces to the puzzle, I think that we, we shouldn't have any distractions or any excuses this year. I think this year is definitely the year where we're going to make a name for ourselves. We're going to come out and play the type of game that we're supposed to play. You know, and continue and can play paces of basketball because the city definitely deserves it. I think as a team, we deserve it. And I definitely think Donnie deserves it. It's time to stop all the talking and just, just, put, it, just put it in play, you know? Want to see what Jack does the rest of the day? Well, stay tuned for part two of what it's like to be Steven Jackson.